Hello everyone, and welcome back to my real-life Caterpie project. In the last part, we took care of prototyping the shell and doing some 3D printing with that. In this part, we're going to try to fit all of the control electronics inside that shell. So the way that I had the circuits hooked up before was using the power from an Arduino Uno. So a USB connection was made, and that supplies 5 volts, which I was just pulling off on the breadboard. However, we need to A, make this portable, and B, give the servos more power. So my idea for making portable power is I'm just going to use a 9 volt battery. So you can get a 9 volt battery and a connector, and the Arduino Mini can handle 9 volts no problem. So I can hook up the mini directly to the battery and everything will be great. However, the servos are only rated for 5 volts. So I need to step down the 9 volt coming from the battery into a 5 volts that the servos can run on. And this is where our first little bit of circuitry is going to come into play. So I have here a uh, linear voltage regulator. This is a 7805. What it does is it takes a voltage between 7 and 12 volts and steps it down to 5 volts. So the middle is a common ground, and then if I give the first pin 9 volts, connect it to the ground, and then out from here is 5 volts. So that means that I can hook up the 9 volt coming from the battery and turn it into 5 volts that the servos can run off of. And that will also supply way more power, um, more current can flow through here than can be output by the Arduino. So the servos will have more power in order to uh, move, which is good because the shell is kind of heavy and I need those servos to have enough power in order to move not only themselves, but all the parts connected to it. So we're gonna hook up this 7805 uh, linear voltage regulator and let's do a little bit of circuitry. So you can see the completed circuit here. The input is going to be nine volts from a nine volt battery. And this vo linear voltage regulator is going to step that down to 5 volts that the servos can handle. And then the Arduino Mini can handle 9 volts with no problems. So we're going to just connect it up right there. There are two other things that I need to do in order to make sure that this circuit is functional. That is, add a couple capacitors. So the 9 volt battery is a pretty dirty source of power. Um, even though it is DC, the voltage isn't exactly 9 volts. It's going to have a little bit of uh, AC frequency in there. It's going to be a little unclean in the DC power room. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of capacitors and hook that up between this voltage regulator. So that's, that way they can kind of smooth out any drop in voltage um, that may happen from the battery. And this will supply a little pickup voltage in order to make sure that it's a pretty steady source of uh, voltage going through here. So what we're going to do is I have two of the capacitors. You can see there, they're both 104s, um, just different packaging. And I'm going to connect them up both between the ground and then the 5 volts and then the ground and the 9 volts input. And this will just clean up the DC power coming from the 9 volt battery. Here I have all of these servos wired up. So you can see that we're still using the 5 volt voltage regulator. And so those are all hooked up to power. And then I also have the control cables connected to the Arduino. So I have a program on the Arduino that's just going to randomly choose the positions for these servos within its range of motion. And that should happen the moment I connect the 9 volt battery. So you can see it's just a normal 9 volt battery that I have a connector on and I already have it plugged in the ground so the moment that this lead touches uh, the positive rail it should give power to the Arduino and the servos and we should see movements. So let's give that a try. There we go. So you see now that everything has power. The servos are moving. Although the Caterpie doesn't like being up here. But we see that the Arduino is running off of 9 volt battery. And this is now portable. I can move this. I can move this around and do what I need to. But it's a little inconvenient having it on this breadboard. So it's time, now that we know that all this works, it's time to move this to something a little bit more permanent. I'm going to grab a piece of perf board. And I'm going to solder on these components. And we'll make a circuit for this. If I grab the other end piece, so this is the other side of the Caterpie, it will go like this on this side, ultimately. But if I look on the inside, you see you have two ribs. 
This is where the 9 volt battery is going to go. So the 9 volt will sit right in here. And this other side is where the Arduino Mini and all of the uh, electronic components that we just created will fit right in here. So I'm going to grab a piece of perf board and let's get some soldering done. Okay, so I have the circuitry laid out on the perf board. You can see that I have the 9 volt battery hooked up directly to the voltage regulator and everything else is laid out kind of how I want it. So the next step is to cut the perf board and get this all soldered together. So I have the three mounts for the servos up here and the servos will just plug directly into it. So hopefully this will work out, so let's do it. If you score the perf board a couple times, you can then just snap it off. And if you do the same to the other side, soon you'll have a perfectly sized perf board. So here we go. Here's the final circuits. So this is my first ever soldering project. I've never soldered anything on a perf board before. So I'm not going to show you the long and laborious process of me learning to solder and getting tips and figuring everything out. And if you look at the back, it is definitely not a perfect example of soldering, <clears throat> but it gets the job done. All the traces are intact, nothing's, um, as far as I can tell, no signals are crossed. If I look over here, the way that I have the pins laid out is these uh, six pins or nine pins up here connect to the servos. So I have the head servo, in the middle is the torso, and then the last one is the tail. Uh, so I can hook the servo wires directly to this. And I also added an on and off switch so I can leave the battery connected. And it's just a simple switch with some hot glue to keep the wires in place. So if I turn this on, even though there's no servos connected, you should be able to see this LED light up. Signifying that the mini is receiving power and everything's working fine. Uh, the way that I have this laid out is I have the 9 volt coming directly into the voltage regulator and then the 9 volts also powering the, the Arduino here. And if I look on there you can see this this trace is the 9 volts. This middle trace is the uh, the ground wire and that loops up to the very top up here. Um, so you can see that this is definitely not a perfect example of how soldering should be but it gets the job done and I'm sure my soldering technique will improve the more projects I do like this, so I'm looking forward to that. However, with this thing done, we now have portable power on our Arduino. So what do we say we uh, hook up some servos to this and throw this baby in the Caterpie? Let's do it. So I've connected up the servos to the Arduino, and all I have to do is flip the on switch. And here we go. We see that the Caterpie is running the same random program that I had before it. Um, I haven't yet put in the actual logic in this yet, but we have everything working together. We have all of the wiring connected up, and what I the last thing that I need to do in order to get this finalized is I need some way to strap this down. And currently, um, the design that I had was just going to use a Velcro, Velcro strap to wrap everything in, but that's not going to work because the Velcro is too thick, and um, the battery ends up rubbing against the servo here, so I'm gonna have to think of another way in order to keep all this inside. But once that's happening, then we're done. So thank you guys for watching this part. In the next part, I'm going to uh, figure out the way to strap this in. We'll do some finishing work, such as getting the supports in to clamp all this together. And we'll start sanding and painting and doing the finishing work needed for the Caterpie. So again, thank you for watching. Like the video if you've liked the video, and I will see you guys next time. And the painting has finished. We have all of the top coat layers on, and you can see that I've taken a brush and just painted some acrylic paints to form the yellow circles and the eye, and I think that it looks amazing. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.